Welcome back to Cube Game. Uh, I think today, honestly, I want to try and do something on my quest to steal every single kind of content, is to be buffing a easy demon. Uh, I know a lot of people go through and they buff levels. Like, I think Vortrox is a series of super buffing all of the main levels. I think Triad has done a lot too. So many people have just buffed levels. Kind of one of the more common things. And today, I want to try my own take and see if we can go ahead and buff the Nightmare. I was trying to find a level that nobody or at least not many people have uh, buffed before just to try and keep things a little bit interesting, but I think the Nightmare is something I wanna go ahead and try to do. So let's go ahead and uh, the Nightmare buffed. Uh, it does actually fit. I was a little worried the name wasn't going to completely fit there, but this is what we're working with here. And uh, I don't really use the GD editor very often. It's not something that I'm too, too familiar with. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure there are a bunch of like mods and stuff that uh, make creating easier and stuff. I don't have any of those. This is more or less just the vanilla editor as far as I know. So uh, like, guess let's go ahead and just get started here trying to figure out how to buff this. I think the first thing I want to do is more or less just go ahead and make these jumps a little bit tighter. So we'll go ahead and grab all of this and just try and make that. Uh, I don't know how far I can move this out. Uh, I want to say that probably looks good. Uh, we have to kind of realign a lot of this stuff though. Are there just missing blocks here that I've never noticed in the level or is it just not needed because the ceiling kind of... Yeah, the ceiling is right there so you don't see these blocks anyways, but is this kind of doable? Um, yeah, I think honestly I might be able to make that a little bit tighter. Is that doable? Uh, no, that's not doable. Okay, we'll stick with this, um, but maybe we could do something. Actually, no, what we could do if we want to really, really buff this. I don't want to make this too difficult so it's actually possible to be, but we could do something like, uh, this where you have to, like, go up then click both of those really quickly, uh, to give yourself a little bit more room. Yeah, something like that. And then we could go into just kind of making these spikes a little bit bigger and putting some, uh, maybe we could put the small ones down here on the flat edge because that looks like it kind of lines up a little bit better. You know what? I'm really not liking this double input right here thing. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it completely just because it doesn't really fit in with the rest of what I have going on. But this might do OK because that's going to be a lot tighter. Uh, we'll move that just so that's symmetrical there. And I'm probably just going to do this for the rest of this part. You know what, maybe we could do something where we go to a mini portal and then go back to a big portal after to kind of just try and spice this up a little bit, see if that's any better, because these jumps are going to be a little bit too tight if I don't do that. So I'm thinking if we do that, I might just make it a little bit better and more fresh. Well, you know what we could do for the third one is we could put one of these portals that are kind of like this and then put some baby spikes like this. So you have to kind of try and duck over or duck over, duck under. So when you go like this, you have to like kind of, okay, maybe this is a little bit too tough. Or what I could do is actually just make it mini again. Or better yet, we can keep this whole part as mini. Uh, that way you have to click that late and then that should work. I think the later you click that, the uh, easier it is to make that jump. Uh, we could also just go ahead and move these to be a little bit earlier. We could just keep like, we keep two like this. So it's kind of a little bit more like that. That might work better actually. So I think that's probably good for this first section here. Now for this second section, I actually want to get a little bit creative. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a cube portal down right here instead of this jump pad which sounds kind of odd, and I don't know if I want to change the gameplay of this that much, but I'm thinking if we change this to adjust a little bit and we add like a pink orb right here, uh, we could do something... Ooh, I'm gonna have to lower that actually. We could do something like this, where we have to jump and then bounce off this little corner right here, and yeah, maybe do something like this. You jump off the corner and you hit those. That might be a little bit interesting. Oh yeah, and if we use a blue orb here, we can actually use this portal so we don't have to remove it. And that could work because then it does a little bit like this. And then you have triple spikes you have to go for jolt. You actually have to jump over, which could add a little bit more depth to this part. What do I want to do here though? I'm thinking since we have these natural air decoration things here, we could probably just keep it rather simple and put some portals here and just do the more of these same kind of spike jumps from earlier. I know the Nightmare actually uses some of these in the end of the level here, and we can make the third one bigger, see if that's a little bit more scary. Okay, yeah, so you have to do this. You have to go up, up, and then the third one is going to be a little bit different timing. Now we're on this part. I mean, I could just go super basic and do this, but is this even possible? I kind of want to test some of what we've built already. This seems like, I mean, it's definitely difficult, but I feel like it's probably not possible. Well, I guess if you clip the corner of that one, then it is. I mean, we could keep it like that. It makes it a little bit more scary being able to just kind of hit the corner there. Yeah, okay, that does work. Okay, well, I almost just verified everything I've beaten, so this part's probably okay. I did change this bit up a little bit. 
I made it so you have to jump on top of the sledge and use a black orb to jump over that turbo spike just to kind of keep the flow a little bit faster pace. This part does seem kind of hard. I might come back to this a little bit later, but for this part, I already have some ideas. And what I'm going to do is more or less take out all of these blocks. And instead, I'm going to build my own little maze using a robot instead of a cube. Because I think I'll make it a little more, bit more interesting and keep it a little bit more modern. Well, I probably want to go with a small robot as well, just for a uh, consistency sake. But yeah, so we can kind of do this and we can do some little jumps and try and maybe add some tricky orbs in there. Let me see if I can come up with anything. All right, I think I've got something pretty cool here. So what you're supposed to do is you hit this green orb and then you kind of just follow the rest of the pattern like this and you wind up right here. But the way I made the gameplay actually allows you to do it in reverse like this. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close to perfect, I would say, at least pretty close to working is what I mean. And you can actually end up going down here, which I could add a coin. I think it'd be kind of fun to add some coins in here. So we'll go ahead and throw the first coin here and let me see if I can actually do this route correctly. There we go. Okay, that's actually really, really difficult to do correctly. So I don't know, I might nerf that a little bit or change it later on, but that's kind of a rough idea what I want. For this part, we'll go ahead and go into a big robot and do some different type of gameplay. Okay, I think I've got this part finished. We just kind of have some easy robot bits, and I was a little bit lazy on this part, and I just kind of added a bunch of fake orbs, but it kind of honestly ended up turning out kind of cool, so I guess this is what this part is looking like right now. We got one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, and there we go. So, I don't know. It kind of fits a little bit well. I'm sure there's multiple ways to do that. Feel free to figure out your own route for this, but the original one is still intact. Um, for this part, hmm. Now, this could be me just kind of being crazy, but I want to try and add a swing copter section to this bit. I don't know if that's going to work at all or if I should even just close the editor and never open it again at this point, but I just want to see kind of what it would be like. You know, I don't think this is the worst gameplay someone has ever made. Uh, it's definitely not great, but I feel like it really gets the job done. It's it's a little hard to control. I'm wondering if I can make this look a little bit better by making, maybe adding some big spikes here. Really emphasize that this is supposed to be difficult. Mm, that'd be a little bit too tough. Let's be, let's be a little bit nicer than that. But let's see how this works out. Oh, wait, I deleted a block. All right, let's see if this works. I mean, yeah, honestly, that might be probably the most creative thing I've done with the editor. Now for this part, I know exactly what I'm going to be doing, and I'm more or less going to turn this into that one part from Necropolis. You probably know exactly what I'm talking about. We just do a whole bunch of these. Now these are my absolute nightmare jumps right here. I beyond despise them. Let me see if I can sync this up though. Okay, yeah, I think this sinks a little bit better. Yeah, that's nice. Um, for this, I can probably just leave this alone because it kind of ends up saving yourself uh, if you exit the dual weird. I'll do more testing to make sure that's not a bug, though. I think I'm going to leave this section as kind of a break, but I have a little bit of an interesting idea where you try not to touch the ground here. And I don't think the way I set it up is going to work, but if you kind of see, if you land... Uh, I'm going to have to remove, I think, that block for this to work the way I want to. But you see how if you land on the edge of the blocks, they kind of save you and they put you somewhere else? Yeah, like that. That's exactly what I want. Okay, this is, this is turning out like a decent part. Now, I want to restructure this area to be a ship section actually right here, but I don't know if it's going to line up the way I want it to. Oh, yes, it will. Now, I'm probably just going to pull another card out of my generic jar here and just make this some good old straight flying. Wait, I never noticed this bit. Is this meant to be a cube right here? Like a cube uh, jumping over spikes as decoration? This level was really ahead of its time. Wow. Now, I don't want this to be too hard, so I nerfed some of these spikes just a little bit. We'll see how this plays out from here. So we like that, and then we can kind of go into a straight fly. Yeah, that's not a bad straight fly at all for a level like this. I feel like this part's impossible, though. Let me test it. Okay, so I have to add one more spike here, and I actually want to flip this ship part upside down in the middle, because right now it's just a little bit too easy. So we're going to go and do something like 
something like this. I don't really know where to put this board. We'll go like 0.75. That might be good. Let me show you this part now. So we go up through here. We wait a little bit. We press that. We press those twice really fast. And then we have the uh, straight fly section. And okay, yeah, that portal definitely adds a little bit of tricky gameplay into this. Let's see if I can get it this time. There we go. Ooh, and then I'm upside down there. People are going to be thrown off. I can actually probably use that to my advantage by putting maybe a... And maybe we'll be benevolent this time and just give them a little bit of a jump scare. Something like that so they don't see this coming. We'll do that so it looks a little bit more natural. But uh, so when we're upside down in the ship, you're going to be meant to uh, hit the ground here. And then you'll jump right into that. And it'll be kind of like a little drop. We can even go as far as flipping this back to normal gravity like that. Now, here's the question. What on earth do I do with this ship section? Because I don't just want to, like, make it tighter, but I also don't want to exactly do any drastic changes to this. Ooh, wait, I just got an idea. What if we do something similar to Firework, where we have the red orbs kind of scattered out through the section, and we can add a couple little uh, of these transparent spikes? Let me first add the transparent spikes into sections that might cause a little bit of issue. Uh, maybe just something like this. Not too difficult, but not exactly easy either. Yeah, something like this. And then we can add in red orbs to try and trick people up. So we can add one like right here, maybe on this heart. Uh, we can add a black orb maybe right there. So you have to try and not press that. Is that too difficult though? Yeah, something like this. Is this too difficult? Oh, I can just turn off ignore damage. Why do I keep going into the level? I can do something like this. Um, ooh, that end part might be a little bit too tough, but it's definitely seeming doable. Oh, that actually worked surprisingly nicely. Is it just me or is the song not synced right now? Uh, I'll worry about that later. Next, we have this one. I'll probably just do that same pattern for uh, this ship as well. You know, I might have actually made this part a little bit too difficult, but I also love how well it flows. I haven't been able to get to the end even with speed hacking, but if I do something like that, it is doable. Let me see if I can beat this in normal mode. There we go, okay. I did have to nerf it a little bit and it's still really tough, but I think we can go on to the next section now. You know what, right here, let's throw in a little bit of a trick. We'll just do like a double jump right there kind of thing. We have to fall and jump over those two like that. I think that'll work better. Um, for this part, I'm going to keep it really simple. We're just going to add uh, spikes on the top of this. How does that feel? Oh, this one might not be possible. We'll remove it from the first one like that so you can actually go in. And then this part, okay, that's definitely a lot more challenging than the original. Uh, oh, is that actually too tough? That might be kind of too tough. Oh, I didn't realize doing something so simple like that would actually make this part kind of really tough. There we go. Uh, we'll do something fun with this section. We'll probably just remove like maybe, let's see, how am I going to go? If we land down here, we can jump off the first one. What if we just hold the whole time? No, that, that's a little boring. We'll do something like this where we have to press a series of orbs. Oh, and then we'll add a fake yellow one right there too. So it looks like you have to jump there, but you don't. You actually want to fall when you get to this part. And then we'll jump over the last one like that. Yeah, that could work. Okay, yeah, that's. I kind of like how that works. And then for this part, what do I want to do? Is this possible to do as a duel, I wonder? Because that could be kind of fun. Let's just do a little bit of experimenting. What if we start like this? Is there like a consistent setup for entering this portal? Yes, there is. We'll increase the length of these platforms by one just to ensure that it lines up well. Actually, what could be fun is to add a little bit of an extra challenge and add some desync here. Are there like transparent platforms? I'm not seeing them. We're just going to go with something like this. Uh, that way you have to try and like kind of balance your ship a little bit as they swap around. Wait, I'm either really, really dumb or I'm onto something here. Uh, I don't know if this is how the orbs act outside the editor. I should probably check that because I think duels work like slightly differently outside the editor. So I want to make sure that same like hop is consistent. It is. Okay, wait, this could be kind of, this could be kind of interesting to mess around with. So if we do that, then we press those. It looks like the second time that doesn't happen though, which is really odd. I don't know if there's a way around that. I guess maybe like a multi-active dash orb could stop that from happening. So we can go like this, we press, we have to press it with both though. Oh, this is, this is definitely some jank setup right here that I'm not too sure I'm going to keep, but it's also kind of cool and kind of creative. And I don't think I've seen anyone else do that. 
That's not a single portal. I need the uh, the divorce portal. There it is. Let's grab the divorce portal and put it in there. So we have the duel, then we press the orb, and then we press the dash door. We hit the divorce portal, and we're upside down. Okay, let's try this one more time, see if this works. It seems like it's almost consistent, but uh, there's definitely a certain way to approach it, like that. And then we press that. Oh, that works! I'm so happy that works, dude. Wait, that part's actually kind of sick. Uh, and then for this part, we'll do like... What if we just kind of keep up the streak of doing really, really dumb stuff and do something like this for those two parts? Yeah, we just do something like this. Oh, that could work. Ooh, that's a tiny flick. I'm actually going to keep that in there. So you almost have to do like a micro click there. So like that. Uh, I could add a jump block and obviously make that a hundred times easier, but we are super buffing the nightmare. So you know what? We've got to have a few clicks like that. Yeah, that's not too bad as well. And then this part. What we do we do for here? Honestly, I don't really know. I'm going to go for a lunch break real quick. Come back here, see if I have any fresh ideas. Now, hold on. I think I cooked a little bit here. I spent a while trying to make this part look a little bit more polished. And this is what I ended up coming up with. These are all much tighter timings now and kind of have a staggering staircase kind of effect rather than just being flat line, which overall just makes it a lot more difficult. And then for this part, I kind of moved it so these spikes actually kind of manipulate where you have to press your timings. So you have to do the first one late and the second one late, the third one early, the fourth and fifth late and the fifth early, if you even make it. Now, I don't know if I should make it so you die if you missed that. I think that'd be a little bit too mean. So I think kind of just leaving it how it is like this is fine because yeah, if you press it, kind of early you can do that which is fine but i think if you fall into space that's fine as well now for this part what should i do i kind of want to go for more of an x step vibe where a lot of this stuff is fake and you actually will die if you don't do certain things so for example you can have a pad there that kills you and instead you have to press maybe like a green orb in the center here so you have to press that kind of land there but then instead of falling you actually have to do a jump and hit a blue orb that you hold into kind of like that so you go up like that and you know what, we could actually go for another coin route right here where you actually jump up into those spikes. Let me see if that's even possible to do. Oh, that lines up so well and it's synced with the music. So let's say if you manage to jump out of there, you can grab yourself a victory coin. Now, where does that leave you if you do that? Uh, and I missed the jump, that's not great. But if you jump, okay, yeah, that's pretty much perfect. Uh, but if you don't do that, let's say you fall down here, there's just gonna be like an extra spike maybe right here so you have to hold a little bit let's see if that lines up correctly um no that just puts you into the spikes that's not that's not exactly ideal i guess we could do something a little more basic maybe just like uh how does the music sound is there a double press right there no but i i might want to do this anyways it's gonna have like that there so you have to do something more like this yeah that kind of lines up well and I guess if you press the coin, then you have to dodge this orb as well, which kind of works. But you can also just kind of hold outside the coin. Uh, so maybe this will work. Something like that. Yeah. And we'll just get rid of this orb entirely because it's not needed. Uh, but let's do something else where we have like a fake spike kind of right here that you fall into if you end up pressing on that portal. Uh, let's move this spike down to like the bottom layer though. So it's underneath that portal. That looks a little bit more clean. And instead you want to drop down here. I'm actually just going to make this a total fake. We'll just put some uh, lines. Are there invisible blocks I can do maybe? What if you do something like that? Are there still hitboxes if you do that? Or is that just going to make me die? Well, let's find out. Okay, yeah, that kills you. I want to find something that's a little bit more fair. I don't just want to use invisible objects because I am kind of trying to stick as much as I can to the theme of this. I know I've used, like, objects that can't really be in the nightmare, but I also don't want to, like, just put invisible traps. I want to be a little bit more creative with how I do this. Learn a little bit more of these blocks I've never tried before. Oh, I like how that works. So I'm using two little lines right here, and they make the spikes look just a tiny bit bigger. So if you look really close you can tell that something is up with those. I think that's going to be working really nicely. Let me just make sure you can't cheese this by like clicking this anyways, and I'm bad. Like if you press that late, okay, well that takes you out anyways, but what if you press it like sort of late? Um, okay, I guess we'll just have to do something different with this. Oh, you know what would be really funny actually if we just straight up grab a yellow portal and just use a yellow one instead. So if you click it, you just kind of fly up. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. And that only leaves one more section with this, and, uh, you already know exactly what's about to happen right here. I mean, come on, why would I not do that? Definitely the least original thing I could do for that part, but, I mean, you know what? What works, works. Let's just go ahead and see if that lines up. We could do something like this, 
And yeah, it's just, it's just a straight fly. There's nothing else to say about it. This is the first speed portal in this though. So I guess uh, there's that. But yeah, we can do this. And I actually have a pretty cool idea we could do with this part is we could have you jump and just completely skip the final uh, platforms down here. We'll just throw some spikes down here and do all three of them work because I'm not sure if they do. That's actually really hard, especially the last one. It seems like it's slightly further out than the other ones for some reason. I don't think it is, but it feels like it is. And then we'll make this jump even longer. We'll uh, probably extend it by two spikes. I think that's still possible. Just to kind of add on to the pressure of it being the final jump of the level. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is doable with just a really late click. Or you know what? Even better. Let's go ahead and do this. And then we can have uh, something, something stupid here. What should we put here that's like kind of stupid, but not like ridiculously difficult? Would this be going too far? Like, would this be going too far? It's a really, really short spam. It's like six presses, but <laughs> it would be so funny to end the level like that. Uh, I don't want to verify that, though. That sounds awful to verify. Yeah, it's it's shorter than like the quadratic function spam for sure. Um, But do I really want to end a level like that? <laughs> it works. It's not good, but it works. Uh, You know what I want to do? There's a couple parts I want to go ahead and clean up and kind of uh, balance. So I guess cue a little bit of a balancing montage. While I was doing some balancing, I realized I never added a third coin to the level. So I think what I'm going to do is do this. I open up the bottom path so the top path is optional because it is a decent chunk harder. We can throw in a coin right here so people can go ahead and collect that just if they go up top there. Uh, apart from that, I did a couple balance changes. I made this part a little bit easier. I made a couple parts harder uh, and I did end up nerfing the spam a little bit over here. You can see the gap is a little bit wider and it's not for as long. You can do it with four clicks, maybe even two if you go really precise, but more or less most of the time, if you just spam the button as hard as you can, you'll get through it. So uh, I think this is done. I think this is good enough to say it's my buffed version of the nightmare. I guess I'll go ahead and do a little bit of a showcase for you guys, show the full level in its entirety. Would really appreciate if you could watch to the very very end. It just helps with the YouTube algorithm uh, if people make it to the very end of a video. So I'll leave you with the showcase, but thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. You know how it is. We're almost at 3k subs. Would appreciate the support, but let's go ahead and just get right into the showcase.